Hey guys, J Tech News, and today I bring you a tutorial on um, the XBMC um, Home Theater System program for the PC. Um, this can be for the Mac, I think, but I think the best one for the Mac is called Plex. So basically, what you have when you first load it up, you can see your watch movies now. This is a theme I downloaded. I can't remember the name of the theme right now, but um, yeah, the link to download the description where you can just find the themes on there, and you just look for the photos, and if you see this photo then you know that's the game I got so here is where you watch your movies uh, let me see yeah you watch your movies here um, I don't think my hard drive where I play my movies is actually plugged out right now it might be no it's not plugged out right now so yeah I'm gonna go back over here so you guys can see it so basically this is where you watch your movies this will be your weather I haven't figured this out yet but I am gonna get to it um, this is where you exit Basically, when you exit, you will click on this, and you just hit this one. Um, I don't really mess with these. I'm thinking they're gonna shut my computer down, but this will exit out the program. If you have a full screen, you just hit this. If you don't have a full screen like I do, you can just hit the low X at the top. Um, this is where you, when you have a DVD ROM, and this is how you play the D, the disc in the DVD ROM. This is where you um, fix all your system preferences and stuff. Your parents, video, music, pictures, weather, add-on, network, system skins. Um, it's plain and simple. It's just this pick the theme I want. I have two things, but I'm not gonna show you that one right now. But yeah, that's that's pretty much you have a screensaver and and that and that's pretty much a lot of things you do. Um, I will play music. Maybe with the pictures, but hold on, let me see if I can load some pictures up. Uh, breezy. See the see the path is not not made out right now. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, you just um add it like that. But I'm gonna show you guys how to add like a source so you can find your pictures. Music is right here. I do have music link right now, but I'm not gonna play it just because I don't want to get hit by copyright infringement. So yeah. So right now on pictures, let's say you're on pictures or movie or movie or whatever. Um, you click here. You click add source. You click browse. Uh, go to your computer. User. My name. Desktop. Breezy calendar. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Then you got a breezy calendar and see. They go see I click on it. Now April should load up. I was making a calendar, that's why I say April. But see, they go my dog right there. It should have them right there. And you just go out, you have a preview right on the side. See that was December, February, January. Yeah. So that that's pretty much it's not that hard to set up. You just right right click to go back to the page before that. Um, I haven't really ran programs on this yet. I don't think I will, just because I think I'll just go to start and run it that way. But yeah, that's basically the overview of XBMC. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Just that's what the letters up here is. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll have more in depth next time when I when I do a whole overview of it, or oh, I'm show you how to do some stuff in this. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Peace.